Hello everybody, it is I Arcanine, and welcome back. Uh, I literally just did like two keybinds and we're back. Um, we just went to the Precipice Scow and found out that yes, we can walk behind gates and doors. Which I wonder if we could do that for customs for that place where we always buy glass beads. I wonder if we could do that there. Um, but before that, I want to try to go into Dominio uh, down here. I want to try to go down in there, uh, but apparently I already went off course, so we're going to check this place out. This cake, uh, and head down to Shadabaria while we're going that way. Oh, Snake Zold Grow. Which, that's another thing. We haven't seen what's his face, Galf the Infinite, uh, in any of the groves we've been in. Tomb of Tide, so that's gonna have water based challenges. That's gonna be interesting. Um. Yeah. Okay, so we're passing right underneath this cave. I kind of want to go check out that little middle zone here, just because we're already over here, and it'll be free money. And we have a lot of cannons already, so it's not like anything in this deep water zone can pose a challenge to us. Many of them might be scared. Ooh, I want you. Fight! That's a Forsaker. I don't even have a long nine on this one. We'll do a side shot here. Do an angle shot here. Come at me! Uh, we actually should probably take a look at these so we don't accidentally... Uh, okay, yes, we already have the crystal rays. Should go after this one. And this one should go after. Oh, no, oh, didn't go after them. Odd. I wonder if you could board a Mega Ray. 42, whole bunch of XP, no ships, but we did get free stuff. Might try for one of these. 208 crew health. We've only got 175, and that's all our crew put together. I think that might be parasites that are on it. Okay, we just have a little bit this way to go. Okay, we've discovered all of this area. I wonder if this is there's something hidden in the deeps. I know it's we've been talking about deep water from the company. They discovered something in the deep water. And I wonder if it has something to do with because like this area right here, it looks like so there used to be an island there. Oh. Go around this cave, go down oh we did not check out those though. So there might be something there that we missed. Can't make custom waypoints, sadly. At some point, we'll go in there because if we go there, we uncover more of that part of the map. Oh, tomb of water. 
Let's see if there's a girl at the end of this. There is Sand Gulch. Oh, that's all I needed from that. Uh, well, we could go to the end of it. Well, I guess we could also try for the grove. Looks like we got a couple of mask heads up there. What the? Those are not mask heads. Myconoid. This bizarre species is largely unknown. Their appearance is to have large fungus, though they seem entirely sapient and mobile. Upon death, their bodies release a toxic cloud. Because of this ability, they build few structures and live in nomadic tribal society. They have resistance to water, earth, wind, electric, but they have weakness to fire and ice. Immune to poison. What is that? I don't know what that is. That's an axe crafting kit. Oh, hello. Myconoid spore. This bizarre spirit is largely unknown. Spore variety has a tendency to get up close with their prey in hopes of poisoning them in desperate act of revenge should they fail. I didn't mean to go this way. Sneak back. And they have an automaton here. There doesn't seem like it to be anything besides that axe crafting kit. And whatever that is, that might be dust on the floor. Oh, we still have Outshadow. We don't have Rezo. Oh, this is going to be rough. And the magic of touch I'm so glad I got her that ability my goodness lava and fire everywhere through something bunch of blasts um come down here and axe that uh, we totally forgot about the automaton
fire does that. That does 19. How much is this one? 8. Hmm. Might as well set him on burn. He's chilled. Now he went from chilled to burn. Uh. Might as well just whack you. Shoot him. It's gonna burn. Ooh, Outshadow is down. That's a minus one more health. Um. Yeah, I might as well just pat myself on the back and run away! Through something. We're out of boomerang. Uh swing. And shoot. He's down, but she's poisoned. Chasing after you. Squack him once. Oh no, I need to be able to toss, do a disrupt shot on him. No! Uh, can I just whack him dead? I can just whack him dead again. Uh, last. Oh, that was a single one. I didn't mean to do a single one. Here. Do another. Here. I should have actually just healed her. Ugh. went straight through her. Throw your boomerang, knock him dead. Automaton's going after her. Oh, it's got a pistol. It's got a pistol? Oh, wait, I need to make sure I can actually shoot that automaton. Uh, drag dust on her. She doesn't have to spend the turn on the revive. She can actually spend the turn on healing. Uh, and then I'm actually going to run her back to like her. She hit that one too. They can get damaged by the poison too. Interesting. Uh, can I just. Yes, I can thunder thrust you. Thunder thrust! And smack him dead. It's another pistol for me! Your shock bolt does nothing! Oh, never mind. You took out the healer. You've made me mad! Take a step back. Do I have a contact shot? I do. Uh, but I can't hit it. Body. Gate Master unlocked! One battle. It takes one battle. Okay, so I'm going to cast a standard heal. Standard cure. 
religion. Do prayer. So we got this axe crafting kit, which we already had one of. Steel dagger pistol. Ooh, that's better than the one we currently have, which was a bone dagger pistol. Wherever it went. It was a rogue. One of our rogues had it. There she is. It's on cap. Uh, let me check to see. This does six damage. How much does this do? Four. Let's switch that. Uh, iron armor is free. Bone. Bone. Stay with all these. Fine for and some heavy van braces. Uh, Manto Rain. Imagine throwing a severed claw of a mantis. Mantis weapons are very, very expensive. What's that? Kunai? Bone Kunai? A mantis smasher. Bone, bone, bone. Is there a, what is this? It's just a all around. That definitely is, oh there it is. I was like, that's definitely something. Why you wanna let me access it? Alright. Great. Why are you holding this? You should not hold that. You should actually get a shield. I really need to get you a shield. I keep forgetting. It's so now forgetting you steel shield. Don't really have good experience with it, but it's still better than nothing. Right. Uh, actually, let me go to Hagar. Yep, right as he entered. Oh, these things popped out of nowhere. Whoop whoop! Oh, but they're attacking each other. Works for me. Oh yeah, these things don't like anybody and nobody likes them. Dang, Ashadow, why you gotta be so weak? And he's down! Like... Seriously? Uh, I'm gonna cast a regen here. Going to smacketh himeth. Is that way? I'm going to shooteth himeth. Cause he'll do that. Um, come up here and just burn slash him. Cast the regen. He's burning. He's gonna go down. Next burn turn. That one's dead. That one's dead. I'm gonna step around here. Put him in the back. Step forward with this one. Smack him. Uh. He doesn't have the ability. Uh, I'm sure he can take a step forward. Kill that one. I really can't get that fireball over there. Dang. Oh, Shadow's freaking body's in the way. Here, yes, I will be able to move her out of the way. 
revive this ding dong. You move behind here. You jump back here. You shot here. 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 Oh, that revive is going. That's going to immediately take him out. Oh no, I can move. Haha. -ha. One time you can't give me 17. That's a lot of XP for him. So, uh, you there, 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 there. So first thing we're casting is a cure. And a regen and a heal. And we're doing a prayer. So nothing on this one. I don't look like any of these bodies have anything on them. There are a couple of dirt bats. A mega bomb! A Molotov. Seems to be everything here. Oh, more mantis. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. We're gonna continue clearing this grove once we get back. Um, like I said, groves usually tend to take two to three episodes to fully clear, depending on how bad I lose. Um, these ones have been pretty easy. I actually might go ahead and switch out Shadow out. Now that I know that even if they get knocked out, like switching out Shadow out or Fry or any of them actually uh, will be very beneficial to that one person since they're getting so much XP for it anyways. Um, and uh, before I end this episode, we'll take a look at Gate Master, the Lord of Gate Magic. Uh, so, Gate Hellfire, so I'm going to gate a pure file, tier 6 damage. Frozen to deal 5 wind damage and chills. Gate to the ruinous realm of Mad Necromancer, poisonous and causes itching. Plasma on 25, these explode, 35 turns later, dealing 20 damage, inflicting burn. Summon a cannon to a gigantic laser, dealing 4 damage and breaks on them. That's actually a really good one. We're going to put that as his primary for right now, and this one is a secondary, so we can keep that gate ability. Uh, so for... Nope, 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 that's not what I want to do. For this one, we will... Get this. So this. This will allow us to actually, like, move our camera around further away from him. Uh, we'll do more fire damage, because that fire damage one is huge. And that's out shadow. So now we have a... Why did I make it out shadow, though? There we go. So, now we have Cap with us. Make sure everybody's healed. Alright, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Hope you look forward to more Grove Clary, because that's pretty much all we're getting to at this point, um, just to level up. Toodles!